Okay, now LZSS algorithm. The motivation of this algorithm is that sometimes it's more efficient to store the matched symbols themselves than to encode offset and length. And here, as always, it's the outline of the algorithm. If you didn't watch the video about LZ77, I recommend to do that, that will greatly help you. But if not, the example will explain everything, it's, in, it's absolutely intuitive. So, we will use sliding window again, and uh, if no match found, we will submit only next symbol. But if it is, uh, we will submit the length and offset, but not the next symbol. Now comes the example. Okay, here's the table we are going to use for our algorithm. Here's the dictionary, look ahead buffer and the code. We are going to encode this weirdly looking phrase. Kpekcha Okay, first step will be we just fill in our look ahead buffer because the word is moving in this direction. Dictionary is empty yet, thus we encode this symbol with 0k according to our steps. We move one symbol forward, put it here. We want to encode p now, but dictionary is empty almost empty, there's only k. We encode p like this. Next step, we'll have two symbols in our k, p, char. And yet there is no a, thus we encode 0 and a. with H but on this step finally we find something what our dictionary contains is A thus we encode 1 3 1 we mark that we have found the symbol we mark here also the offset and the length. Our dictionary does not contain R, thus we encode this. And thus we continue in similar fashion producing, if we have faced the symbol, number, uh, length of offset and length of matched symbols. Moving throughout this table. I will clean up a bit and write down the last step. And uh, that's it, that's the last step. We have encoded symbol matched and offset and length of offset. And now we are going to decode something with this algorithm. Time to decode. This is given, this is the code we are going to decode. So let's start. Search buffer C, C, D, B. Next code word is 1. Three, four. New symbols. So we see that offset is kind of strange. Why? Because uh, we have three offset and four length. But we already know how to fix this problem. New symbols will be C, D, B, and what's the last symbol? It's actually C because C from here comes here. D from here comes here, B from here comes here, and this last guy comes from this C. This is the same C we have decoded because window uh, slid in such a way. On the next step, we continue doing the same thing. So we update our search buffer. It now will be C, D, B, C, right? We apply that and produce new symbols, C, D, B. We are decoding this. We update it once again, C, C, D, B, right? Now comes 
zero b, okay, this will be b. We update once again c d b b, right? We slide our window in such a manner and b comes here, all right. Zero a. Then we use this and produce new all right, this is this A. Oh no, this is just some A. That's what we have decoded.